Have you ever wanted to have multiple chat counters on your stream? Like Pookie and Milk and even a way of resetting them? Well, I'm going to show you how. So step one, creating the actions. So to create action, you go to the actions plane, right click and add. Now you can call this something relevant. I'm going to call this one Cookie 2.0. You need to make sure that it's set to enabled and always run is also ticked. So we just tick that and go down to OK. So now we want to create another action. So right click and add again. This time I'm going to call this one Milk 2.0. Again, make sure it is set to enabled and always run is ticked and press OK. Step two, creating the sub actions. So in the last video, we used the counter variable built into StreamerBot, which is fine if you only want to use one basic counter. But say you want to have multiple counters in your stream, then you need to create them their own variables. Now, hold on, if that sounds a little bit scary, hear me out. Think of variables as buckets. If you have one bucket or variable and you fill it with just cookies, then that's fine because you know how many cookies are in it because you've only been putting cookies in, right? Well, what happens if you want to use the same bucket or variable to store other items like, say, milks? Well, what will happen is the numbers will keep going up, but the bucket or variable in this case is counting the total number of items stored. That's why we need to create each counter its own bucket or variable so that each one stores only its own data. So if we go to sub actions, right click, go to core, globals and global set. We then want to make sure that we've got the destination set to global. We have persisted unticked. We are going to change the variable name to cookie two. We are going to change the argument to increment by one because we want it to go up by one every time someone types in the cookie code. Press OK. Next, we want to add a message that pops up in the YouTube chat to say that a user has used the code and they've either added a cookie or a milk. So to do that, we need to right click, go down to YouTube and send message to channel. Now you'll see a drop down box with either the bot account or the broadcaster account. That means you can set up a bot account and it'll post from there or from your own broadcaster account. For this instance, I'm going to choose broadcaster. I'm then going to use percentage sign, username, percentage sign, just ate a cookie and a little cookie emote. Press OK. What we will then do is right click, go to core again, back down to globals, but this time it's going to be global get because we need it to pick that cookie information that we've saved in the variable because we're going to use it in a minute. So if we just make sure it's set for global again, persisted is unticked. The variable name will be that cookie two that we created. Destination variable, cookie two again. Default value, zero, because it starts at zero. And then press OK. Step three, creating the OBS sources. So if we head over to OBS now, you can see at the bottom of the screen, I've got my little graphic with the milk and the cookie. And you can see I've got in the left there, exclamation milk, and on the right, exclamation cookie. Now this is the code that the chatters will put into the chat to make the counter work. So if we head down to the bottom, click the plus, text GDI, and we name it something relevant. So I'm going to call this one cookie two, press OK. And then if we put a zero in, just so we can see what it's going to look like, select font, change it to 72, and press OK. Press OK again, and you should see it on the screen if we drag it down to where we want it. There we go. That looks OK. Do the same again, the plus. Text GDI. This time we'll call this one Milk2. Again, same thing. Press 0. Select font. 72. Press OK. And OK again. Right, if I drag this back down to where I want it. Yep. That looks about right. That looks OK. So what we do now is we head back over to StreamerBot and connect the two up. So if we right click in the sub actions again, and we go down to OBS, across down to sources, set GDI text. So that's the two sources we just created there. Find it in the scene that you're in, and the right source. And we're going to use percentage sign cookie two percentage sign. Now that's going to use the variable that we've created in StreamerBot, and then we're going to press OK. So now we need to do the exact same thing for the milk variable as well. 
step four, creating the triggers. Now, since the last update, these were called events. These are now called triggers. So if we right click, go to core commands and triggers, create a new command. So we're going to call this one cookie two. We're now going to create the code that they put in. So if they put in exclamation cookie two, you can call it whatever you want. I want it to be anywhere in the message. I want it to ignore the bot account so it doesn't loop and spam. Change it from Twitch to YouTube. You can then set who has access and who doesn't have access. Again, you can set the global cooldown if you want or a user cooldown. And then we just click OK. We then do the same thing for the milk command as well. Click on milk, right click, core, commands, commands triggered. Create a new command. This one's called milk2 and it's exclamation milk2. Again, you can call this whatever you want. I want it to be anywhere in the message. I want it to ignore the bot account. I want to change it to YouTube from Twitch. Global cooldown set to zero, user cooldown set to zero, and you can set who has access and who doesn't. Press OK, and then press OK again. Now we get on to testing. So if we go to a live chat, and we type in exclamation cookie two, it should send a message to chat and the cookie counter should go up by one. There we go, cookie counter and Terrible Gamer just ate a cookie. Now let's try it with milk, exclamation milk two. Counter should go up by one and there should be a message. Counter's up by one and there's the message. So there you have it. You can add as many of these as you want, as many variables as you want to create and as many counters as you want to create as well. So what happens if you want to reset the counter? Well, for this, what we need to do is right click on the actions plane, go to add. We're going to call this one reset counter. Make sure it's set to enabled and always run and then press OK. Next, we want to head over to the sub action section. Right click, go to core, globals, global set. Untick persisted, variable name, cookie two. Change the argument to value and set it to zero. That's going to reset it back to zero. Right click again, we're going to do the same for milk. So go down to core, globals, global set, unpersisted, variable name is milk two, argument to value, zero. And again, OK. Right click this time, down to core, globals, but this time global get, untick persisted, variable name, cookie two, destination variable, cookie two, and default value set to zero. OK. Do the same for milk as well. And finally, we want to send that information to OBS. So if we right click, go down to OBS, we go down to sources and set GDI text, choose the scene, choose the source and put in percentage sign, cookie two, percentage sign and press OK. We're going to do the same for the milk. So again, down to OBS, down to sources, Set GDI text, choose your scene, choose your source, and then it's going to be percentage sign, milk two, percentage sign, and press OK. So now we need a way of triggering the command as well. So if we go up to triggers, right click on it, go to core, commands, command triggered, and then go to create a new command. This one we are going to call reset counter. And the command I'm going to use is exclamation RST. I want it to be anywhere in the message. I want it to ignore the bot account because it's coming from me. I want it to twitch off YouTube on, no global cooldown, no user cooldown, but I want to set it to moderators are allowed. Press it to OK. And press OK again. So if I type into the chat, exclamation RST, press enter. There you go. Both of the counters have been reset to zero. There you have it, folks. Simple way of trying to include multiple chat counters on your live stream, as well as a way of resetting them. If you like what you saw, consider dropping a like, subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you next time.